Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out today's video. Today's video is going to be a Kringle candle haul. Woohoo! It's been a minute since I did some Kringle hauling, but uh, this is actually from September. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so far behind on all the things, literally everything. So yes, this is from September. Their three wicks were on sale for, I can't get it up, the thing. $12.95 and I've never tried their three wicks, but people really, really like them. So I was like, okay, bet. And then I did buy one thing that was not a three wick. And then I bought two of their country candle. What are they, what do they call these things? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing an absolute blank, but these, um, daylights, daylights, the daylights to try some scents that weren't on sale. So the only sale that was going on was the three wicks. So I didn't get anything like crazy other than that. Um, but Kringle, Kringle is just superior. Like Kringle really is. I know that they're pricey and it is very difficult to like drop that much money on one candle. That's why I typically wait to sales. Also with these, they were on sale, but ambassador codes weren't working. So I was like, oh, fine. Let me think about it. I put the stuff in my cart and then like, you know, as most companies do, they will send you an email being like, hey, you left something in the cart. Here's a little coupon code. So I wound up saving an extra $20, $21 actually with that coupon code. So it worked out. I said, all right, cool, 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 cool. We'll, we'll, we'll hit the uh, place order button. So let's get into this. So I did pick up Cherry Crumble. Again, these are their daylight. So these are just little teeny tiny baby candles that you can really just get a sense of the smell. They're one and a half ounces. It says they burn up to 12 hours. I don't really know. I don't think I've ever lit a, no, maybe I have lit a daylight from them. I can't remember. You can use these as wax melts too. Like if you can, they're very hard to get out of this plastic jar cause they are glued down. But if like you maybe heat that up and pop these out, you could just use them as wax melts, which I think is another really good idea. But basically they're just a, a slightly less inexpensive way to try out a fragrance. So that's why I got this one. Cause I didn't want the big old jar, but this is nice. Cherry crumble. I'm not a cherry girl. I'm not a cherry girl at all, but this is really, really pretty. This is, I think I would like this. I really do. Cause there's more like berries in here than necessarily cherry in my opinion. Like this doesn't smell like maraschino cherry. It doesn't smell like medicinal cherry. Oh, when you warm it up, that bakery comes out. I think I would really like this. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for, um, I think they usually do a sale after Christmas, like a new year sale. I think, or maybe it's Black Friday that I bought. I can't remember. I didn't buy anything for Black Friday or anything this year, but Maybe it was Black Friday that I bought my very first order from Kringle, or maybe it was after New Year's. I can't remember, but I think they do a sale. Anyway, apple pumpkin pie. Again, this was another one. This one I don't like nearly as much. This has that pumpkin note that just smells a little funky to me. A little craft story cinnamon. Oops, ripping my own hair out. It's just not my vibe. It's just not my most favorite. So I'm again, this is why I'm very happy that these exist because you can try them out. This I would not purchase in a large jar or a wax melt. This I think would be really good in a wax melt. Preferably candle though, cause you know, candles have my heart. Okay, let's move on. This is the one thing that I got that was not a three wick, but with that coupon, I wanted to try it. <laughs> and I also did not know when else they were gonna put their sales. I will say this about Kringle. I don't love how they kind of organize their sales because a lot of the times like some things are on sale but not everything and that's like kind of annoying because it's like just put everything on sale okay like the same scents constantly go on sale it's like if I didn't pick it up the last time I'm not gonna pick it up this time okay so anyway I didn't know when this was gonna go on sale because this is technically a new fall candle this is leaf peeper and I got it in the medium jar because <clears throat> I do think I find that the medium jars are more manageable. You get more bang for your buck for the large jars, but like they really do burn a long time. Like you, you, you get your money's worth. You really, really do. But like I'm a girly that likes to switch it up fairly often and I can't put back a burned candle. So the medium jars really are the sweet spot. Although it kind of hurts my heart. Cause I'm like, if I just spent like a few more dollars I can get a bigger candle. But anyway, these are 14 and a half ounces. And they are the two wick soy, beautiful classic fluted jar. Go watch. 
She's good. Just look at the sun hitting her. She just knows she's a star. And this is so good. This is like my fall scent. It's like leaves from Bath and Body Works. It smells very, very similar. And that is just, that's my vibe. I love leaves. I love, love leaves. I burn it every single year and I don't get sick of it. <laughs> oh, this smells like leaves, but not nearly as like sharp. So leaves can be a bit much for people. A lot of people say it gives them headaches. A lot of people say it's like too in your face. I personally like that, but this is a softer leaves. Oh, this would be good in a bedroom. I mean, good in a living space, but like, oh gosh, that's good. That's, that's amazing. That will for sure be burned. Probably next fall now that like I'm so behind. Because <laughs> I couldn't burn anything until I hauled it. You know what I mean? Anyway. Okay, on to the three wicks. This is pumpkin waffles. And I love, 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 thank you, Kringle, for putting the scent notes on the bottom. Praise be, scent notes on the bottom. I don't understand how that is so hard for companies to grasp that we just want scent notes. Put them anywhere, anywhere. I'll take them. Gorgeous, gorgeous, like hammered copper lid. So beautiful. Very minimalistic. Love. Okay, this is toasted waffles, pumpkin spice, maple syrup, brown sugar, cinnamon, creamy butter, warm woods accord, and amber vanilla accord. And again, these are their three wicks. How many ounces are these? 14 and a half ounces, burns up to 45 hours. How, much, how long do these burn? This burns 75 hours, so these will burn a little quicker. Also, because they do have one more wick, it's going to burn quicker. This is good. Oh, this is like pumpkin pecan waffles from BB Dubs. But again, better. This is not nearly as cloyingly sweet syrupy. This is more buttery in my opinion, more creamy. Oh, this is delicious. This is a very gourmand, super heavy bakery. I would burn this in the winter time for sure. I don't need this for fall because this is very, like I said, heavy. This would be good for winter for me. And again, the packaging is any year round. So love that for any time, oh, any, year, any year round, whatever. Just make up your own words. Okay, now we have this one with pretty seashells. This is Sea Breeze, which is coconut, ozone, fruit, green, amber. This one is gorgeous. Like in the, um, the two wick, it has like these um, beautiful palm trees and sand, oh, looks gorgeous. These are soy, by the way. These are three wick soys, not the paraffin. And this is pretty. Ooh, she's pretty. Not really as like beachy as I was thinking it was gonna be. This is more like soft feminine, but this is gonna be nice in the spring. Ooh, coconut, ozone, fruit, green, amber, yeah. The coconut is there, it's very hidden, very deep down in there, very creamy coconut though. Oh man, this, the more I smell it, the more I like it. Oh, this is gonna be so good in warm weather. And I'm a warm weather girly. Come to me, baby, come to me. Okay, this one, ooh, this one's like a Christmassy packaging. A little reindeer. This is reindeer beer, fitting. <laughs> Fizzy root beer soda, Mrs. Claus's whipped butter, I'm sorry, whipped batter, but it's spelled wrong, that's okay. It's, it's literally like uh, W-I-P-P-E-D, not W-H-I-P-P-E-D. Okay, fizzy root beer soda, Mrs. Claus's whipped batter, ginger, molasses, root chips, vanilla, AKA, I think it's gonna be a root beer scent. That's what people are saying. And I love root beer scents. I love them. I love them. I've tried uh, Bath & Body Works. I've tried our own candle companies. I've tried Homeworks and you know, I have to try Kringle and this. Oh my gosh. I don't love that it's Christmas packaging because root beer for me is summer, but oh, this is good. This is root beer. There is not any like, um, I don't get like a vanilla or an ice cream note to this to make it like a root beer float. This truly smells like the crispy, crunchy, cold root beer. Mm, 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 like a root beer barrel. Ooh. Mm. I kind of like it when there is a little bit more vanilla now that I'm realizing, but this still smells incredible. Oh my gosh. Not a Christmas fragrance in my opinion, but that could be very nice. Um, like in January when you're just, you need a little something, something to perk you up. That, that'll do it. Ooh, this one's really cute with the sailboats. 
Oh, that's so cute. This is saltwater taffy. The set notes are sea salt, sugar, vanilla, strawberry, fruit, and sweet. Very to the point. Fruit and sweet. All of the wicks have seemed pretty centered. This one is a little, it's not discolored, but it looks like the fragrance oils are starting to, it's going to be probably hard to detect on camera, but the fragrance oils look like they're starting to pop through. It looks completely fine on the bottom. I mean, it's not really, it doesn't bother me any, but it is a little, looking a little speckled. That's okay. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Oh man, that's good. Kind of like I get the taffy vibes, the saltwater taffy vibes. It smells like a very, like, strawberry, like, taffy. That's what it smells like. Oh, man. that Again, that would be really good for warm weather. These are a hit so far. Then we have just this one with purple. This is berry clouds. Juicy berries, tangy grapefruit, orange, and lemon zest. And you know I love me grapefruit and an orange. So, hello. She was calling my name. Yeah. Mm hmm This smells like something. This smells like something I've smelled before. Oh, that's going to drive me bonkers. This is very similar to something. It's good. It's very good. Mm. You get a lot of berries and then just like a little zing from the grapefruit. It's not sharp by any means. It's just very citrusy. Definitely berry heavy for sure. That smells like something. Don't think on it. Don't think on it. But it's good. I like that one. Then we have this one with avocados. I think that is just so cute and fun. <laughs> I think it's so fun. This is avocado and palm. Sun ripened avocado, palm leaves, sea salt, fresh air, green melon, water lily, apple blossom, aloe water, and beechwood. Isn't it so funny that some of them have like these lengthy ones and then this one's just like fruit, sweet, berry. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot going on here. Sun ripened avocado, palm leaves, sea salt, fresh air, green melon, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you are a freshy girl, slightly green, oh, this is good. And these all smell very strong on cold. Man, that is good. Ooh, man. Yeah, you get the sea salt, that fresh air vibes with the, with the creamy avocado, green. Oh man, this is good. This is good. I can't wait for warm weather. I want to burn these all right now. I mean, you could. I'm not necessarily like a super seasonal fragrance, but it makes me sad to smell warm fragrance and then to go outside and it's like, oh, it's 40 degrees. It's not summer. <laughs> and we have this one, which is aqua. Oh, I have tried this one. Amber, bergamot, jasmine, lemon, lime, marine, musk, patchouli, and sandalwood. I love aqua. It's my top two fragrances from Kringle that like I will repurchase probably until I take my last breath is gray. I love gray and aqua. They're both just stunning, stunning scents. Yeah, this is so good. This is just like uh, a fresh, this I do not like. This is giving me like, they're just air bubbles, but they look, I have to pop them. They looked like mold. <laughs> it's not mold, it's just air bubbles, but oh my God. Oh, I've burned aqua. I love it. It's such a beautiful marine fragrance. It's just, it smells like something you would smell at like a high-end resort. Like this is, this is like, this could be a lobby smell for a, a high-end resort in the Caribbean. Just beautiful, beautiful, just aquatic notes that are so pretty not sharp it's just it's absolutely stunning if you love those kind of fragrances you have to try aqua like i'm begging you try it please because it is so good and last but certainly not least here we have oh i forgot to show you christmas cake pops how stinking cute cake batter sugared citrus candied sprinkles swirls of butter and vanilla frosting i love me some cake batter okay i love it love it love it love it this one has the air bubbles too just pop those Oof, this is lemon. I wasn't even close to that, and that smelled like, yep, yeah, this is a lemon, like, pound cake. Oof, gosh. Again, not necessarily, like, a Christmas fragrance, but I see why they put it in Christmas packaging, because people like myself, who don't love tree, cinnamon, bark, birchwood, snow, like, people who, like me, like, this is, this would be, I would burn it at Christmas, I really would. 
it's beautiful this would be such a nice kitchen fragrance at christmas because again not everybody likes christmas tree and cinnamon and orange and clove like most people like lemon most people so this would be so stinking cute in your kitchen very i think guest friendly for my personal opinion my friends i think would like this my family i think would not take offense to it and just <sighs> festive festive is all get out oh this is so good mm -mm -mm. lemon cake kringle did it again slaps again we love you kringle we love you so let me know if you guys have burned the three wicks if you have what are your thoughts? Do you love them? I can't wait to try these. And let me know if you picked up anything on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm really, really wanting to try their jelly donut. I know that it like popped back into stock. I just didn't grab it. I should have because now it's gone. Like you literally can't even find it on the site. So that is one candle that I'm like, come on, Kringle, bring her on back. Bring her on back, girl. But yeah, I'm hoping that if that one does pop into stock, I'm going to buy it. I'm just, I'm just going to bite the bullet, pay the whatever they want, $30 or whatever, and try it because it looks so good. And I love jelly donut fragrances. Oh, gosh. But yeah, Kringle slaps again. Nothing came broken. Everything came packaged beautifully. They're stunning. They smell good. We love. So thank you. Thank you so, so much, Kringle, for existing. <laughs> and thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know down below. Any of your thoughts? I'd love to chat with you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!